What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Tops Museum Collection Baseball 6 Box Half Case Break. Page teams number 13 just saw. This is from a fresh case. So we should be able to post the second half up after this. So here we go. So again, everybody else that bought in straight up there, I appreciate you guys. Not too many people bought in straight up, but hey, still needed some help there. And then everybody else bought into the RMBs. We had a couple of them. This one was Yankees all the way to the Colorado Rockies. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this one is the Angels down to the Cleveland Guardians. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 RMB spots in each one. And there's the customer names there. So appreciate you guys. And here we go. So it is a fresh case, six box half case break. So we'll see which ones we determine to use here for this one. And uh, So one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Let's uh, quickly generate a number or a little dice roll. One, two, three, left, four, five, six, right. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one would be for, we're going uh, right. This would be for five. So I'm going to write five on it. And, uh. Most likely, I'm pretty sure we're gonna post it the next one, so. Put that over here for now. Okay. I, I don't even know where the real dice are at, so I don't even use them anymore. <laughs> I would just end up using the random generator. Plus, I'm horrible at rolling dice, to be honest. I don't I don't gamble in Vegas anyway, so I, I think that should also tell me not to ever do it. Oh, sorry, 14. I don't know why I said 5. 14. Whatever. Jonathan lurking around. I had a feeling you were waiting for this break. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Juan Franco, rookie. With a Andrew Vaughn to start us off. That's for the Chicago White Sox. Part of the RMB. White Sox. 66. Execute on a 66. Which is Ed. Now I have a little Yordan. 100 out of 125 for the Houston Astros. Ed, straight up. Nice short on right there. Canvas. 
Are they Dennis Eckersley? That is a 2 out of 50. Oakland, part of the Angels R&B. Uh, 2, Daniel. Cal Rally, numbered 72 out of 150. Mariners, Daniel. Ooh, we got an artist proof. That's nice. Raphael Devers, and that's going to uh, Jonathan. Lions, baby. You know this. Remember, Aaron, I believed in your Lions before you even believed in them. Remember that? Victor Robles. That's Washington going to the Yankees RMB. Eight. Daniel Lewis. Alright, so there you go. First box, Dunzo. First box. But no, they're rolling right now. I think they have a really good shot. They, I want to say they almost beat them early on in the season in Minnesota, didn't they? So now it's back in Detroit where I feel like they just totally dominated at home. And uh, it should be a close game. I don't think, I don't think if they lose, it's like a blowout, to be honest. But honestly, guys, I mean, Detroit, they, they got an offense, man. Yeah, well, I, I think I think Vegas just wants you to bet on Detroit. <laughs> I know, but I also believe in my Eagles too. I just I just don't think anybody could predicted them being this good. It, it's just it's exactly like a repeat of 2017, honestly. Um, I think people predicted the Eagles to be decent, but not this good. It's pretty crazy how similar it is to 2017. Big growth this year is amazing, man. It's just he just cleaned up his mistakes, right? He's uh, he's cleaned up his his uh, his uh, decision making. I think arm strength is still the same, uh, honestly. I mean, you know, I don't think his arm strength got that much better, but accuracy, decision making, has just been through the roof. You know, he just hasn't folded under pressure. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's just been great. Yeah, I still think they were going to have a good season, D'Lo. Honestly, the, you know, not to, not to say that the looking at the schedule early on, it was like, you know, they can win ball games for sure. But I think people still don't give them so much credit for being 11-1 or 12-1, whatever they are right now. So I think now that they're starting to dominate some of these teams where they felt like, oh, well, let's see when they play a real team, you know. And they've been actually beating some of those teams. And now I think people are kind of just starting to roll on them. But I expected them to have a good record. I just didn't know if they were going to be, like, the best team, in, one of the best teams in the league. You know, because you can win all those games and still not be that good, you know, with the the record reflecting. Bogsy. 74 out of 275. It's Rays, R&B, 4. Uh, Josh Yost. Jalen's just, yeah, he's a leader. He, everybody, honestly, I mean, it's just, the, like I said, the tremendous leadership, which he's always had, but people definitely respect him in that locker room, and, and you know, he's, he's just a natural-born leader. So it's, it's fun. It's fun to see. But I think we have to give a lot of credit to Howie Roseman, too. He's cleaned up a lot of his mistakes. 
Where, yes, we can say, oh, you guys have passed up on Justin Jefferson. You guys passed up on DK Metcalf. Although, I really don't believe Justin Jefferson would have been that good with us, to be honest. I really don't. The way we run our offense with Doug Peterson slash Sirianni, it's, 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 I don't think it would work like that. But, you know, he's picked up those mistakes and, you know, turned it into Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. And, you know, who cares about those other guys anymore, right? <laughs> you know, made a couple big trades in the offseason. Uh, big uh, free agent signings or it's like he's definitely corrected his mistakes and yeah top five pick right now JT Realmuto for the Phillies that's Sean so it's like it's crazy you know to think about that O'Neal Cruz was number two guys sorry about that that was two that's Pirates and that is D'Lo No, I don't have no hatred towards the Phillies, but more Eagles only here because in LA I didn't have a, I didn't have a, there wasn't no football teams here in the 90s for me. So, Dodgers for sure. Numbers coming up. No, you're good, you're good, yeah. Bulls, singing those Cardinals edition. One thirty eight. Eight is Michael P. Here we go. Gene Segura to seventy five. We got a Dansby Swanson. Where does he end up, guys? 144 out of 199 for the Atlanta Braves. Add with that one. We got Blake Snell, 1 out of 25. Yo, Jesse and Tiggins, Michael, that's awesome, man. Mike White, baby. I know. That's it. No more Zach Wilson moments. That's it. Everybody's all moved on from Zach Wilson. Acuna for the Braves. That's number to 50. We got DeGrom with a Adrian Beltre for the Texas Rangers. Going to add straight up. Alrighty, folks, halfway through. Let's go to the next one.
That's what I'm saying, Michael. You, for you as a Jets fan, you, you're done with Zach Wilson. Like, he shouldn't be your guys' to starter no more. So, Mike White's team. Or, are you going to move on from Zach Wilson, but <laughs> potentially draft another one? The one thing with all the transfer portals now in, the, in college football is it's kind of making it tough because this amazing quarterback class that was supposed to come out, some of them might not be coming out anymore. You know? My Oregon Ducks, Bo Nix, the way he played this year, could have been a first-rounder. I think he might end up staying with Oregon for another year. He has another year eligibility, technically. I think I think uh, the Alabama quarterback and you know a couple other ones will definitely still go out, but... Like Caleb Williams, he has to probably stay, but he'd be like a first rounder. I think he's like a true sophomore, sophomore, so I think he has to play another year. So it's like these, and then like I said, a lot of quarterbacks are are in the transfer portal now. So this class is still gonna be good, but it was supposed to be like great, like 2020 and 19, uh, 19, uh, 2020 and 2021. Julio, and out of ten, John Smoltz, Atlanta Braves. But yeah, Bryce Young is legit though. I mean, I that dude is. I, I've seen a couple of Alabama games this year, especially some big games. Even though they lost some of them, that dude is so good. Julio for the Mariners, Daniel, numbered seventeen out of one fifty. But yeah, Bryce Young is definitely legit. Ready, he's so good. I mean, just with him, of course, like it's already a good class for quarterback. <laughs> Alright, we got Polar Bear. With a Johan Moncada. And uh, that is 14 out of 25. White Sox RB with Yankees. Uh, 14 is Michael P. Whoa! Wow, I think this is a real one on one sketch. This looks way too good. Wow, look at that. Manny Machado. That sketch looks legit. Doesn't it pop? Doesn't it pop? That is so sweet. San Diego Padres. Manny Machado. And that is uh, part of the random number block. And this is a one one guys. This is a one one sketch. And that's going to go to the Padres R&B. Ed. There you go, man. Uno, uno. So you could tell right away. You could, you could totally tell right away that was real. <laughs> the way it popped. All right, we got Mariano Rivera. That's four out of fifty. Uh, that is um, Yankees. Yankees is part of the RMB four. Four is Michael. And then we got Bucky Dent. That is 60 out of 299. Another one, Yankees. Zero. Gonna Michael P. All right, two more boxes, guys. So again, uh, we will be putting out the second half at some point tonight. And, uh, you know, potentially still some big hits hiding here in this half. And then, of course, potentially in the second half. I don't know if we're gonna hit the metal card here in these next two boxes. So if we don't, the metal card could be there in the next one. Yes, the the Duke from Kentucky, right? Yeah. That TCO quarterback is really good too. The Heisman finalist. Um, honestly, I I, I hate to say it, but Washington's quarterback too. Uh, Penix is a really good lefty quarterback too. I, I think he's legit. But again, some of these guys are gonna go are gonna come back. They're not gonna come out of this draft class, so it's just a, some people are gonna have to wait an extra year. I like supporting the lefties.
on our next one. Whoa, look at that. That's actually a really cool quad. Judge, Trout, Moogie, Betts, Bryce Harper. So that'll be a randomizer. Yankees, R&B, Dodgers, actually straight up Ed, Angels, R&B, Phillies, uh, Sean. So depending on who wins that, you either go straight up or to the R&B. And depending on which R&B, I think both have a chance. Uh, three would be Michael, and three would be Daniel if, if uh, one of those two R&Bs win. And we got a Larry Walker. Nice three-color patch. Top uh, top on the right. 24 to 25, Colorado Rockies. Yankees R&B, 24. Michael with that one. Lou Gehrig, 37, spot seven, Michael. Nolan Arenado, and then we got a Yuli Juriel. 13 is Ed. Or actually not 13, Astros is Ed. Bottom straight up. And we got Mike Schmidt. 10 out of 25. Phillies. Sean. All right, guys, almost here, almost to the finish line. Last box here, guys. So again, if we don't get the metal card here, guys, that potentially the frame could be in the next one. So it could be a very nice second half. Which is kind of tough sometimes. I feel like sometimes I feel like, oh, it's in this box, but then. It's really just a, a decoy. But it looks like the metal is going to be potentially in the next half, guys. So. Solid hits already, but if, if the metal card's going to be in the second half, that's also a pretty big hit, too. And I've been seeing a lot of vets, which, again... Hopefully in this box it changes up to rookies, but if not, second half we'll have a lot of big rookies potentially, so that's also a plus for the next one. Buster Posey. And that's actually Giants, R&B, sorry. That's 97. Seven is Michael. And we got a Luke Voigt for the Yankees. That's 40. Zero is Michael. Michael's racking up some of these hits. Wow, that's a really nice Yankees one. So this will be randomized, of course, but nice little canvas collection. Royce Lewis, so there's a rookie. Minnesota Twins. Part of the random number lock for the Angels. And that is 92. Spot 2 is Daniel. Remember, all the non-numbered cards are being randomized in one lot. We got Andy Pettit. 5, or sorry, not 5. That's uh, 6 out of 50. Six is Ed. On the last mini box of the break here, we got Javi buys for the Detroit Tigers. <clears throat> 59 out of 99. Detroit is Yankees one. Nine is Garrett. And then last hit here should be an auto. Or not. Actually, not an auto. Clayton Kershaw. Dodgers is Ed straight up. 41 out of 75. 
So there you go, folks. Nice. Really nice break. Managed to get a one on one, and for the RMBs there, the canvas. Uh, got a couple of nice numbered cards, a couple of nice autographs. More vets than anything, I feel like, but hey. Second half could be extremely loaded, guys. So we have a couple randomizers for all the non numbered base for both RMBs. And then, of course, this quad here. So let's switch it up. And let's do that randomizer really quick. So we're going to get a new dice roll here. List, list, and a third list. So the first one we'll do is for the Angels RMB. The Angels. Next one would be for Yankees. And then this one here is going to be for the quad, which is Yankees, Angels, Dodgers, Phillies. All right, we use the same dice roller for all, guys. Six and a four, ten times. First one here is going to be for the RMB for the Angels. Ten times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Josh Yost, Angels. You're going to get all the non numbered cards. Congrats, buddy. A little extra there for you. Now 10 times here for the next one. Yankees RMB. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Danny. Congratulations. You're going to get the non-numbered cards there for the Yankees RMB. Now here's the quad 10 times, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Dodgers win that one, that's right. <laughs> and that's gonna go to uh, the Dodgers Mookie Betts, which is straight up Ed. There you go, man. So, Dodgers win that one straight up. So appreciate it, folks. We'll post up the next one uh, later tonight, jazbeescasebreaks.com.